What's good, y'all? Devin Hughes here from DHR2. So, today's Wednesday. You know we gotta react to some animes. So, uh, this is Top 10 Mind-Blowing Fights of Anime by Watch Mojo. The original video and my Instagram will be down below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well. Click that bell, be a part of the DH crew. So with that being said, let's get it. This is what happens when LSD and anime battles collide. I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're going to be counting down our picks for the top 10 mind blowing anime battles. If I didn't have them by my side, my life wouldn't mean anything! Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. That's right, we're going to be looking at the clashes in anime that not only had stellar animation, but were also tripping all the balls. If you're not afraid of spoilers, then let's get to that list. Number 10, Shiro vs. Angelica. Fate, Calliard, Lina, Prisma, Ilya, Oath Under Snow. That's a lot of uh, names for an anime show. Given how this flick is a prequel to one of the Fate vs. spin-offs, infamous for its underage loot scenes, it already ticks a lot of boxes in the WTF category. Mm -hmm. However, it can't be denied that Shiro's final clash with the Archer-class servant known as Angelica is still pretty awesome. Mm. I mean, even if she does just look like Gilgamesh's gender-bent double... <laughs> ...facing off against countless incoming swords that have been sped up to the point where even his superhuman reflexes can't compete, all this harem king can do is push on through before landing the killing blow. Mm. Number 9, Chuya vs. Dragon. Bungo Stray Dog's Dead Apple. Mm. You'd hope that after managing to bring down something like a dragon, Chuya would finally be over his Napoleon complex. As the Armed Detective Agency and Port Mafia reluctantly join forces to investigate the suicides of superpowered humans, Ooh. the mystery ends up turning a lot more shonen when a crimson beast ends up being summoned to wreck their shit. Whoa. He was like finding and he was like finding some of the demon stuff. And he just turned us up into a What's fireball. What's Mafioso to do? Well, in Chuya's case, he unleashes the full power of For the Tainted Sorrow, manipulating gravity to the point where he's beating the seven bells out of the wannabe Shenron with a building. Good grief. Whoa. Number eight, everyone, this is Floor 100 Boss. Sword Art Online the movie, Ordinal Scale. Why does she remind me of, um, uh, Castlevania anime? Even though I haven't seen the anime, but I gotta check it out. I don't have Netflix yet, but it could be some free episodes on YouTube that I can watch. So we can do some anime reactions together. One that just so happens to feed on memories, anime's most divisive power couple must take on the most challenging boss Ordinal Scale has to offer. Thankfully, every one of their allies are there to lend a helping hand, as well as provide a quick OP boost that allows them to finish off the final boss in spectacular mm. fashion. Someone obviously hey, them, gave them the hey, Konami hey, them source, code. Um, source just looking nice. And the visual effects of it just look, it, it just looks phenomenal. Number 7, Mob vs. Koyama. Mob Psycho 100. What's that 100? Ooh. Woo. And this is why you don't push nice guys to their limits, because you never know when one might snap do and it. turn into a psychic death machine. After the sadistic Esper Koyama pummels his brother, Mob finds himself unable to stop his emotions from soaring all the way to 100%. 
paving the way for him to take Koyama to the cleaners. Never underestimate a nice guy. No matter how much Let that be a lesson. The cocky Esper can only watch in horror as Bob sends his face through a full building, all the while consuming the scene in visuals that are borderline Whoa. psychedelic. And this dude reminded me of uh, Cinema from um, One Punch Man. Because he's just that strong. Number six, Meliodas versus the Ten Commandments. The Seven Deadly Sins. It's a demonic family reunion Ooh. of the worst kind, as the captain of the Sins takes on his old comrades in a one-man battle royale. Despite being vastly outnumbered, the Dragon Sin of Wrath manages to overcome the majority of the surviving commandments, despite getting put through the ringer. This all comes to a tear-jerking end when Meliodas faces off against his sibling, Estorosa, mm. who takes advantage of his weakened state. It's not exactly what we'd call traditional brotherly love. Revenge! Counter! It's over. <sighs> no. If I could curse, I would. Prep scrub. Ex Cinema versus. Oh yeah, one punch man. Saitama versus Boros. One My favorite man. fight. That is one top punching their way through a meteor by having a final fight that sees the hero Ooh. getting kicked into the moon, only to come back swinging and unleash a punch so powerful that we're pretty sure it split the atmosphere. It should only be used as a trump card for settling fights as cool. The world's strongest hero certainly did not disappoint. I just love cinema. Cinematic battle against He's not my favorite character, and so was its fight. Was I did a reaction to, to this two years ago on my other channel, so you guys can check it out. Generating the hype levels this fight produced, and Saitama did it in the most casual way possible. Killer move, serious series. Serious punch. He Number is four, Aragi versus Kiss Shot. He's a monogatari three. Decapitation has never looked so breathtaking. After regaining her full power as a vampire, as well as his sadistic desire to dine on human flesh, the only one capable of putting a stop to Kiss Shot, Acerola, Orion Heart, and a Blade is her own blood sucking servant. Mm. She makes it easy for the once and future piv since every whoa, they okay. I like that uh, when he came out of the grass. Come. However, he did that spinning move, he just looked so good. Abilities, their battle soon turns into a bloody feast for the eyes. One that'll have you questioning just how many ways Aragi can literally lose his head. Mm. <laughs> Number three Naruto and Sasuke versus Momoshiki. Boruto, Naruto, next generations. Essentially, what the final oh, I wonder how many seasons did Naruto have, though. Godly battle against the I think I need to get back into it. Shiki was pure animated perfection, summarizing everything awesome about the Naruto franchise in but a single bout. In a bid to save the village from the younger Otsutsuki's wrath, Naruto and Sasuke demonstrate exactly how strong they've gotten since entering adulthood. So Boruto good. may come so in awesome. at the last second to win the day, but nothing can compare to seeing the former frenemies unleashing a non-stop barrage of transformations, top-tier jutsus, and... Yo, the animation looks so fluid, though. Whoa, that looks so good, yo. Number two, Sieg versus Kana. Fate Apocrypha. I mean, how do you describe this? 
This isn't so um, much a epic. battle as it is animation obliteration. And surprisingly, the fate bears once again steals Dopeness. the show. Though this time it's best boy Sage Everything about this the plate fight scene the looks absolutely perfect red, in so many ways. results of which lead to more explosions than we thought possible. Now fall! You want to know what anime they should bring back? Um, they should bring back Ronin Warriors, though. It came out around, I think, way back in 1999 when it first debuted on, on Cartoon. I mean, I mean, I mean, it was on. I mean, what I'm trying to say is that they, I think they should bring back um, uh, Ronin Warriors. Um, the first time I saw it was back in 1989 when I first went to uh, Cable Toy Store. Um. Uh, my mom brought the um, um, the Red Rowan the Warrior, and I just you know what I'm saying I liked it, that show. If they were to bring a back, it, it, if they were to bring back Rowan the Warriors, I bet I would bet you that show would have been totally different. Had the different, well, nice clean anime, um, anime feel, animation, and just, just. Spawn on if you know what I mean. They have numerous noble phantasms under his control, but that was never going to best Sieg. After all, he's got the undying love of ruler and rider of black behind him. I'm not gonna let you die! Number one, Asta versus Ladros, Black Clover. Hmm. My magic is never giving up! As things usually go in Shonen series, we all know we're in for an absolute treat when the hero finally unleashes his powers within. After getting a kickstart from the Witch Queen, Asta literally takes Ladros to new heights with his new black form. Whoa. What follows is quite possibly the most insane laser beam chase in all of anime, as the two completely devastate the landscape with the most mind-bending animation. If this battle hey, this that good, Black though. Clover could hang with the other big shonens, then we don't know what will. Thank you, base Chadster. Dragon! Black Now you probably need to sit down and have a cup of tea after that one. But once you're done, why not leave a comment below? Maybe check out one of these other videos. Okay. I think I need to get back into anime for real because I miss drawing a manga. I miss watching animes, you know, even though I don't watch it like I used to. But at the same time, you gotta love anime. You know what I'm saying? It's just something about the art and the animation just looks so fluid and fresh and you can tell that they really put a whole lot of pep I mean effort into it and that's what I like and if you guys enjoyed this um reaction remember to subscribe follow me on Instagram and click that bell until then this is DHR2 and I'll see you later